Watch for oh, dummies yeah. on uh, Monday, excited. Thursday, whatever. Yeah. Some night. I don't even know what night it is. So I excited about to work this, tomorrow. guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. We always have to work tomorrow, man. This is something that Mark and I brought back. I'm super excited about this. From our UK this. tour. We were actually at Tomatin. Lovely place. We've been there, man. Oh my god, there's a video out. If you haven't seen it, it's there's an earlier video. We were there and we talked to Ken. Ken was great, showed us around the distillery. Took us in the Dunnage house. Oh man. Um, the tax man was in the, the corner. The tax man was in the corner. <laughs> uh, it, it, I wish you guys could have felt or smelt or just had the feeling we had standing in that Dunnage house. The, the misty, the multi. Musty smell in oh. there. And, uh, is it there oh, heavy hand? Is that what Angel smell like? <laughs> so, what? Um, it's a small bottle. I know. But we had a Easy. great tour of oh, the distillery. We're all uh, getting two pours. David <laughs> walked our tour group around <laughs> so and good. showed us how Tomatin operates, and it was a great time. I mean, I was really impressed to think that they actually I'll bought the houses around the distillery <laughs> so that their workers yeah. can, can have a place to stay you know for very more? affordable <laughs> rent. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> but anyway, while we were busy interviewing Ken. I sent my wife back yeah, into the, the, their store and said, pick us up a bottle of something. We have to bring something We were kind of in a hurry. Um, our tour bus <laughs> she got was water. Like, literally. He's like, come on, guys, we got to go. No, okay, she stick. bought us this awesome uh, little new water thing from Tamarin, Tamarin and see? she grabbed us a bottle of this Kubokin, which I'm excited about because this is something different from Tamatin. Yep. Um, it's a lightly peated right. first bottling, I think, of or lightly peated scotch. So never produced a, a, a peated scotch, which we were just talking about before the camera came on. So Drew and I had an opportunity to taste the new make at Tamatin, but the new make that we tasted couldn't have been the new make that we made this no because peated. this is peated. So, yeah. um, but it was delicious. It was great. <laughs> it was I was really very good. impressed. Watch the video of that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, regardless, Tomat Kubokin, here it is. I'm excited. We brought this home from the distillery. Um, from Scotland. Right. This is this came from the motherland. Right here. I think you know all those country <laughs> buys came from Scotland. I know, but this one <laughs> we brought it. We, we brought physically, it. We physically we physically check it. I don't think the, that makes it taste any better. No. <laughs> so, so there's going to be a new sign. It hasn't happened to Andrew yet. Bam! Right there it is. See it? Oh yeah. Um, so anyway, I think this is going to be on the shelf soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know where, when, or why, uh, how it's going to get oh to gosh. your shelves or local distilleries or local liquor stores. I mean, but I know this no, is just new, needed. hot off the presses from Tomatin, So keep an eye out for it. I think we've actually priced it online, thirty-five pounds maybe yeah. for a, a, a seventy CL bottle maybe. Um, but I don't know what that means in the states. When, when, where? Uh, keep your eye open. So we'll find out. Yeah, right. What's going on with this? Oh, it's lightly it's, peated. It's lightly peated. <laughs> you, you get that malt and the peat balance really well. It's there. The right. Yeah. Even. But yeah, not, I think it's a not overpowering. It's not, I mean, no, it's just it's, a. A nice wisp of it, and then it's. Not. I gotta say, it is lightly peated. I mean, it's it's. The not, nose is delish. It's not uh, that punch you in the you know mm. nose eye that you're it. gonna get. Mm -mm. Um, so it's 40, 46 percent. Man, alcohol. that's good. So this is. A, <laughs> this is. Uh, you already tasted. Hell yeah. Forty six percent. Wait, wait, no. Andrew said, and this is. Um, <laughs> this is a non aged statement, so we have no idea. Wow, we need um, a bigger bottle, guys. <laughs> this is I'm gonna tell you good. right now. That's that's some tasty scotch right there. I love the nose, oh, right? Yeah, I really do love the it's nose. It's sweet. It starts out just, and all you taste is that that fresh. I think it's a fresh, light, clean smell. scotch. Barely getting any peat on it. Well, exactly. And when you taste it, when it first hits your tongue, there's no smoke. It's just that light. Um, it's just a really light scotch to start with, and then as it rolls back on your tongue, and then that peat goes bam. But not bam. It's Nice and light. <laughs> it's like a gentle it's, hug. It's man. like, hello, I'm Pete. I'm there. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Damn non-age statements are killing me, man. Everybody wants to say that it takes a long time to make a good scotch. This is a good scotch. Not if you know what, what? you're doing, apparently. Um, it's blended nicely so far, and I just, I'll, I mean, I haven't even given wow. it a sit. I don't even water. want to put water on it. I know. To be honest with you, it's really good. Like 46%. So, it should, it um, should hold it, right? It bit. should yeah. hold it. Um, it's, it's a really different kind of flavor oh, profile, though, because it's, I, yeah, I'm not sure. sure. Because the underlying scotch flavors are very sweet and light. It's subtle. And, but the smoke is there. You yeah. know, you get that peat, but I, I think putting water on it, you're going to lose some of that sweetness. I think it's going to unbalance yeah. the scotch. I think you're wrong, man. I, 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 I could be wrong. What did you guys have in the nose? Let's start in the nose again. All right. Come back to the nose. 
No, that's what I've eaten. I, I think it's. Yeah. I think it's light. It's, it, it is it's, very light in the nose, but it's got a slight peak to me in the nose. Not not much. Just though. real subtle. So I mean, it's yeah, not a hint of vanilla. Well, not even very strong either. It's a hint of vanilla. When I first poured it, I got that smoke, but after it sat there, even before I tasted it, yeah, it's, it's kind of wafting off. It was, it was going away. And, and, no. That's the first pour typical. is better. It's starting to get yeah. Now the beauty is bit. once I've tasted it, I've got the the peat is lingering. The, yeah. The finish is and so that yeah. that colors all your nose and everything you've done after you after that first sip. Sure. Light citrus, if, if not even a little. Yeah. I get a little I'm bit. I'm definitely of grass. getting citrus on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. It's got some lemon. Oh, um, lemon grass. grass. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm grass. That's a great way to I'm describe pulling it out grass. now. Because it's it's a the really light lemon. It is. It's so, a light scotch. So you, that's the thing that you know. Right. We haven't reviewed scotch in a while, and <laughs> and the, the way you nose the scotch makes all the difference in the world. So I'm sitting here for, at, on the first nose, just kind of kind of sniffing it, just taking a little bit in, and you get one thing. But then when you do a deep draw, it's a totally different nose. It's like so much yeah. richer and yeah. deeper and better flavor in the nose as you do a deep inhale. It really sucks it in. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, the water definitely made it even harder. Is it softer? Nose. Yeah, it's even softer no. now. I don't know. Neat is really, really neat. Mm -hmm. is really great. I just wanted um, to drink that whole bottle. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. To nice. me, I guess th this this fits a good time. niche yeah, for me. Good. You know what? This fits a good niche for me. Uh, this, I, I, just, I agree. The water brings out some of the. I get more of the lemon now, mm. but I don't get hardly any of the smoke. Mm -mm. Smells at I'm all. Afraid to put water on it. I I, I, I wish I wouldn't have. Um, <laughs> and I didn't put fact, much on it. I was I'm, nervous I'm gonna be about fair it. and just give myself this is tiny splash. Oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> this is, this is splash. Are we gonna have to hit up the distillery and see if we can't buy a bottle? Yeah, we're gonna have to get another bottle. Hey, of this I'll one. tell you what. I, to me, and I didn't put much water on it, but it it held the water pretty it good. It does bring the lemon out though. Right. Oh you my god. It? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but um, it made the scotch creamy. And it kind of married everything together oh, yeah, a little no, bit better. Even, you're right. So the nose got so I get a little more sweet flavors coming out. The lemon kind of tamed down. The smoke kind of wrapped around everything. <laughs> I, honestly, it, it kind of brought everything shape. together, and I really didn't think it was going to do that. Mm. It tamed down the lemon, but the lemon's more prominent in the nose. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting lemon. Lemon. I, I, when I think of I, lemon, I think of the the Kilhoman uh, Mekir Bay, which is much more lemony. I'm not getting that amount of. Well, it's not like you know squeezing a lemon in your face, but <laughs> you know it's it's subtle, it's but a it's deeper there. Citrus. I honestly, that's crazy. You're absolutely right. So uh, I put a little bit of water. It wasn't not much. very much. I think that a little bit of water brought out more peat. It brought out more smoke. It it did make it more robust. But the nose just smelled like a damn lemon. No, you don't smell <laughs> any of the... Uh, I don't taste any that. lemon, though. I will um, say, no. it's probably one of the most enjoyable aftertastes. It's lingering. It's, it's just it's a nice, calm, slightly peated lingering, and it's just sitting there. So who's up? Damn. Who's I, up? I, I, I'll I'll you up for us. He started. Oh. All right, no, man. You're on. Some. You're on. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't go often King. get to go first. No, you don't. That's why. You know, uh... Drew doesn't, that means Drew doesn't talk I gotta talk more. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> what's up with Drew, that's for sure. So, this scotch was surprising to me. Mm. Um, to Madden, we've had one other one, right? I think we've done a couple now. I think. Uh, Maybe 12, two. 10 and 12, I think. And, uh, you I know, there's it, a 14 out there. They were always, they were decent scotches, but nothing that I was ever like, I gotta go buy another bottle right. of that. But we were also trying entry level stuff, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it was early it, in our career. It's an NAS. <laughs> um, it's peated. It's their first edition of a peated scotch. Yeah. yeah. So you really don't know, are, are they going to hit it out of the ballpark? Are they just Never messing around with it as an experiment? Knows. You know, uh, this is a really, really good glass of scotch. But it's a different kind of glass. I mean, you've got a lighter bodied scotch. Um, that is peated. So you've got the smoke that's kind of trying to marry with some of these other flavors. And I, I think that it's doing a good job, but it, it's just a different style than going to Isla and getting something big sure, and heavy and sure. bold. You know, this is lighter, fruitier. It's got a lot of things going on in the glass. I really thought the water was going to kill it. It didn't. Mm -mm. You know, it kind of married things together a little too better. Too much wood. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, but yeah, it, too, too much of any water, you know, it's going to kill, kill scotch, it. Scotch. But I mean, yeah. it's 46%. But I, I think you just put a few drops on it. It doesn't take much. Sure. Um, so I'm going to give it a 3.5. Uh, 3.5! Everything about wow. this scotch, 
I liked. I would drink three glasses of this sitting right here if you guys weren't paying attention. We don't have this, brother. We're gonna have to hit. We're, so I, as the really, story when they're putting it on the shelf. And shows. I, yeah. I didn't think that I was gonna enjoy the scotch like this. I it's, didn't either. It's a wonderful glass. Um, Go ahead. What you I, got? All right. I, I, um, it's a good review. I gotta, I gotta agree. Wow. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, I haven't given a number yet. Just hold on. Um, He's still right. First and foremost, I want to thank Ken season. and I want to thank David, our tour leader, really our, our guide uh, at Tamatin. Uh, and there was a young man <laughs> inside the, the visitor center that, that uh, yeah. really took good care of us. Yeah, but um, really Tamatin, great. you guys really went out of your way to take care of the Scotch for Dummies and appreciate it. Um, and an unbiased review here, I want to say that I really enjoy this too. And while I was kind of cursing earlier, it was the fact that it's an NAS. And, you know, there's this big thing about NASs and age statements. And, and damn it, you know, lately we've been having some really good NASs. Look at the wolf berm, right? Yeah, I, I mean, love that bottle. So, anyway, here I am. My taste is I don't know what I'm getting into. I have no idea, you know. I mean, they've never done a peated. And the next thing you know, it's, 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 it's delicious. I, I kind of wish I knew how old it was. But... My, my t point that I made that it fits a niche for me, and it's kind of a niche going in the opposite yeah, direction. I know you're going with this. <laughs> so for most people, they start off on scotch that's non-peated. They need to work their way into Isla. All roads lead there, right? they got to work their way. This is a great first step. Man, you want to taste a little bit of peat? Try this. You're going to get it. It's just a hint. Here's my, my issue. I'm going the other direction because right now I can't get away from Isla. I love it. That's all I want to drink. I, <laughs> I mean, all the other scotches on my bar I don't, I don't care about, right? This helps me go back the other direction because it's giving me some of those other flavors, those lemongrass, those those light flavors, but it still gives me a little bit of that peat that I gotta have in that glass, right? <laughs> and so it's just I'm working I'm working it. against the grain right now, but it's it's it, I think it suits you and me for both. I, I I love it. I think what they've done here is really I'm anxious to see what the price point is when it hits the U.S. Me shelf. too, because I'm buying some. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so anyway, I, I'm going to echo it, man. Two, two, three, fives, brother. I got to yeah. say, I, I absolutely love this. This what is you, good shit. What you got back there? <sighs> this is good, man. Man, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, need, I guess I need to talk myself through this because this doesn't, the scotch doesn't just bang it out of the park for me like a, like a three, five should. It's so it's, it's subtle in the flavors. The smoke is lingering. You add more and more water. It's actually feeling like it's getting hotter for me as I add more water, which is weird. But maybe it's because it's diluting out the peat or something. Um, I like, you know, the, the other thing though is as I added more water, I got more. I did pull more citrus out, which okay. I think is a way to balance it. Um, three five is too strong for this for me. I'd give it probably a. Somewhere between a two five and a three because it's a good scotch. I don't know the price point, which is. Problematic for me because you know I'm cheap. So <laughs> he is. Uh, <laughs> I dare say he's Scottish. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I speak when I walk. So um, uh, it is. It does have the balance. It does change as you add water. Um, man, I'm a reluctant three, but I don't know why. I don't. I'm not sure why I'm. Go with your gut, dude. Go with I'm gonna go with three. Okay. Let's go All three right. on this. I'm going to try to talk you into Good it. Good balance. Um, it holds water well. Changes as you add water. So depending on what you want, you can change the water. Um, I like the smoke. I love the linger. And I go to three. There Let's you go. go. So I will say I'm definitely a little bit biased just because I was there and I felt <laughs> it. I loved it. It's a four over. It's, it's right. a five. Um, <laughs> the so, Dunnage smell is in your nostrils. I, I remember right that warehouse. Right, right. The smell was amazing. But in all honesty, this is a great scotch. The lightly peated, everything you guys have said, especially bottle? what you said, I'm with you on the whole Isla, tra Isla train right now. I'm completely immersed in Isla. I love it. Um, and this is a great kind of balance into kind of getting that door open a little bit with Good the peat. Um, I, I'll tell you right now, I don't know what the price is here, but if you put a hundred bucks on this thing, I'm going to buy it every freaking day. Cause it's, Damn, it's, don't do that though, because we need to buy it. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I'm just saying, I don't know the price 50. is. And I can, I'm going to compare it to it's something, right? It's not worth 50. So, so if it is a hundred bucks, I'm saying go buy it. Oh, if it's yeah. 50 bucks, I'm saying buy four. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's a great, great scotch. Um, I'm enjoying it very much. The smell, the great, the great Damn, apple taste. Why did we get a little um, bottle? I'm going to go three, five as well. I think wow. it's out there. It really is. Look at I, that. All right, man. What's the price point on this? <laughs> Scotch for Call dummies me. needs to know. Call me. <laughs> right, right. All right, guys. Um, so we're on the horn again. We got wow. three, five, three, five, three, three, and three, five. Well done, Taman. Absolutely. I, all of our subscribers out there, when this 
when you've got a chance to get it, pick up a bottle. I just pick up a bottle. We want to hear what you think about it because yep. um, I think we are all a little stunned here. Um, so if you like what you see, like the like button right now. Subscribe to us Absolutely. every Thursday we night. Love we go it. live. We talk about we'll talk about this bottle this Thursday or something. Yeah, join us. We'll do it. Yeah, and, we uh, ain't got much to, to drink. We love the conversation. You guys realize we're gonna lose all our half our subscribers because we're giving a three five to a non HD. Ah, it's what it is. It's what it is. Guys. <laughs> we're calling Helen our Coop. Helen Coop. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, you guys. Thank you. Love you guys. Slouchy boys.